in this machine learning class we will see the applications of machine learning from first unit first let us see the applications from textbook like uh, banking and finance insurance and healthcare after that we will see some general applications one by one in forthcoming slides the first application is banking and finance that is the machine learning algorithms in banking and finance here the banking industry the fraudulent transactions are very harmful and the volume and velocity of those transactions are extremely high to predict and overcome this problem the uh, high performance machine learning algorithms are implemented in almost all the banks and the model works on real time basis that is those machine learning algorithms will work on real time basis that is all the fraud transactions will be prevented or stopped on the time of occurrence itself in the insurance industry the machine learning algorithms are very much required because those industries are using extremely sensitive data that is they are using the private data here the two major areas uh, in the in insurance industry where the machine learning algorithms are used in the first one is the risk prediction during new customer onboarding while while entering the new customer the risk is very high we need to predict whether the customer will pay the amount on time and the second one is claim management okay once the customer tries to claim the amount then we need to manage all those things so in these two area machine learning is very very important here so based on the quantum risk of predicted that is the quote is generated for potential customers right so based on the potential customers prediction then only the customers will be added for the insurance industry when the customer claim comes for settlement okay the past information related to historic claims along with adjuster notes are considered to predict okay so we cannot settle the amount just like that so we need to consider those things before settling the amount to the customer right so the information related to similar customers similar customers means the customers belongs to same geographical location same age group okay ethnic group so accordingly those customer informations are collected and formulate the model those data are used to formulate the model the next one is how the machine learning algorithms are helpful in healthcare industries here uh, the machine learning algorithms are used to, to predict the health condition of the person by using uh, the medical images okay and in this case some health issues which is predicted by the learning model immediately the person is alerted okay to take preventive actions this is very important application of machine learning in healthcare industry so in the case of extreme problem immediately the doctor or healthcare preventers in the lo locality of the person or in the neighborhood of the person can be alerted so that the person can be saved right so the machine learning algorithms along with the computer vision okay these two domains also plays a vital role in disease diagnosis from medical imaging uh, for example an elderly person goes for morning work and immediately his blood pressure got increased and that will be tracked by the wearable for example smart watch okay and those data will be uh, goes to remote server and the machine learning algorithm constantly analyzing those data okay and based on the history of elderly person and the person of similar age group are analyzed right and immediately the action will be taken that is an alert machine that is alert message will be sent to the person then ask them to take rest that is ask that person to take rest and also the same alert message will be goes to the doctor or the healthcare providers 
to be alerted okay and take necessary action immediately to save the particular person's life so for this person for this purpose the machine learning algorithms will be very much helpful the other applications of machine learning okay without the knowledge of machine learning algorithms normally we are using those algorithms in our day to day life for example the google map google assistant and alexa uh, etc so those are implemented only because of the machine learning algorithms so such algorithms are the first one is image recognition speech recognition and automatic language translation traffic prediction uh, product recommendation self driving cars email spam and malware filtering visual personal assistant online fraud detection stock market trading and medical diagnosis let us see all those things one by one the first one is image recognition that is by using the image the system can identify the objects person place or digital images and etc okay by using the image the system can easily understand the popular of uh, such application is automatic front tagging and suggestion okay which is implemented in facebook right so when we upload a photo in facebook then we can automatically get a tagging suggestion with the name okay so the photo uh, in the photo the person's name will be automatically tagged right so the technology is face detection and recognition algorithm and the facebook project that is deep face deep face is one of the famous project in facebook which is responsible for face recognition and person identification in the picture the second one is speech recognition speech recognition means this is a very popular application nowadays the google is using uh, the option search by voice okay so we can give command by using our voice the machine can easily recognize our voice and that uh, voice will be converted into a command okay it is a process of converting voice uh, instruction into text okay and this is known as speech to text that is speech to text conversion or computer speech recognition okay at present the machine learning algorithms are widely used in various applications of speech recognition okay first one is google assistant siri cartena and the amazon alexa so which are using speech recognition technology um, to follow the voice instructions that is the voice will be converted into command the command that is the text command the next one is traffic prediction the very popular application for traffic prediction is google map if we want to search a new place uh, that is new uh, places immediately we can use the google map okay so it will identify the correct path and shortest route and predict the traffic condition also right uh, many of the people are using google map nowadays and uh, google also gives whether the traffic is cleared slowly moving or heavily congested by using different colors by using different colors okay so for this two Uh, different ways are there first one is real time location where we are currently that is the current location so this is used by means of google map app and sensors that is gps the sensor is gps and the second one is average time taken to reach the destination so this is predicted by using the past date at the same time okay how much time taken the people to reach the distance that is the destination this is taken from the historical data okay so the people who are using google map are actually helping the uh, google map to improve the application right that is whenever we use the google map the information will be stored in the database right all the informations will be stored in the database 
and those data will be used to improve the application and uh, uh, the performance will get also increased. The fourth one is product recommendation. These type of applications are very much used in e-commerce and entertainment companies like Amazon, Netflix, YouTube and etc. Okay, so these companies will recommend their products to their users by using machine learning algorithms. Whenever we search a product from Amazon, immediately we will get some advertisement of the same product from various companies. Okay, various the other company products also come to our system as an advertisement. Okay, so for this the Amazon is using machine learning algorithms and Google also understand the user's interest by using various machine learning algorithms and suggest some of the product to the uh, based on the customers that is Google's customer interest. So similarly the Netflix this is also one of the popular entertainment company it finds some recommendation algorithms for uh, the entertainment series movies uh, to their cu customers okay by means of machine learning so uh, the product recommendation machine learning algorithms will be very much helpful to identify the person's interest accordingly the product will be suggested to the customers the next popular application of machine learning is self-driving car this is the very interesting one that is without human the car itself identifies the destination route and it also analyzes the traffic condition also accordingly it will drive by itself right the most popular company called Telsa it is working on self driving cars already Google's car is very popular that is automatic car right so here the unsupervised learning methodology is using to train the car um, and detect the people and objects while driving that is in the traffic. The next one is email spam and malware filtering that which is used in Gmail, Gmail application. Okay, whenever we receive a new mail, the filtering technique will automatically uh, identify the important normal or spam mails. Okay, so the important mail will be goes to inbox and the spam mails will be goes to spam box, right? So, uh, the uh, filters are used in Gmail are content filter, header filter, general blacklist filter. So, these are very much helpful to classify our emails, right? Virtual personal assistant which is otherwise called as VPA. Nowadays, it is very popular. Uh, the Google's assistant, Alexa, Carnetta, Siri are some of the popular applications and those VPS are accept the information by using our voice that is voice instructions will be converted as the command okay and they will be very much helpful for playing music call someone open a mail uh, scheduling an appointment and etc online fraud deduction maximum of transaction will be taken place nowadays in online here the machine learning is very much helpful for our online transaction will be safe and secure by deducting the fraud transactions. Okay, whenever we perform any of the transaction through online, so various ways the fraud and transaction can take in place uh, like uh, creating fake account, fake IDs, uh, otherwise steal money in between our transaction that is middle of our transactions. So for this, the feed forward neural network methodology is helpful for checking whether the transaction is genuine or fraud. The next one is stock market trading. This is the very risky one because the rate of the product will be increased and decreased very often. Okay, For this the machine learning algorithms are very much useful to predict the uh, stock market. And here long short term memory neural network is used to predict the rate of stock market traders. The next one is medical diagnosis. Here the machine learning is very much used to diagnose the diseases. Okay, 
So, it can easily build the 3D models so that we can easily predict the exact position of wounds in the brain or scratches in the brain or any other sensitive organs and it also helpful to find the brain tumors or other brain related diseases or heart related diseases or cancers everything. So far we have seen the applications of machine learning from first unit. Here we have seen first the banking and finance, insurance and healthcare applications. After that the real time applications like image recognition, speech recognition, traffic prediction, product recommendation, self driving cars, email spam and malware filtering, virtual personal assistant, online fraud deduction, stock market trading and medical diagnosis system. In the next class we will see another topic from first unit. Thank you.